All my Triller fans and all my boxing fans, we just had the Jake Paul Ben Askren fight. Is Jake Paul for real now? Stay tuned. I might. There's no limit forever. I said you're playing with the. Alright, guys. Jake Paul versus Ben Askren went down. We had the whole weekend to digest this and and feel our way through it. Now, the question now is, can we take Jake Paul seriously as a boxer now? Let's, let's contemplate this for a second. He just beat a man who was an MMA champion. At one point was 18-0 and 0, um, with some professional fighting experience. So people are asking the question now, is Jake Paul for real? Can we take him seriously now? And the answer to that is it's too soon. Jake Paul is still in what I call the, the record padding phase. He's still padding the record. And in boxing, this is pretty popular to just beat up tomato cans and cab drivers and just pad that record. And you might find your favorite fighter, his first 30 fights were against nobodies, journeymen, clowns, and people that shouldn't have been in there with a prospect, with somebody that had potential and talent. Let me give you an example. Let's take Canelo Alvarez. And let's look at his first couple of fights. His first fight was against a man named Abraham Gonzalez with a career record of 1-9. and nine. A career record of 1-9 and nine against a future world champion, a man with potential. Canelo got him out of there in four rounds, right? What about his next fight? Pablo Alvarado. A career record of 0-8. Canelo got him out of there. Two rounds. Again, padding the record. Padding the record. At this point, do we know if Canelo's the man yet? We don't know yet. He's still in the record padding phase. But his third fight was against Miguel Vasquez. That name might sound familiar. He was the IBF champion for four years, eventually. But at this point, this was his first fight against a prospect who's already got two wins under his belt. Canelo got the decision against him. And of course, they rematched, and Canelo got another decision in 10 rounds. All right? That was his first guy with, like, a pulse. You know, his first guy to actually hit him back here. Now let's look at Jake Paul's record. Uh, his first fight was against uh, some YouTube guy, KSI. And from there, he fought some guy named Gibb, another YouTuber. From there, he beat up poor old Nate Robinson. <laughs> Just padding the record, padding the record. People that don't belong in there, that have never trained in their life. And then, Jake Paul, he said, hey, it's time for me to fight somebody with a pulse. Somebody that actually might know what they're doing. Enter Ben Askren. All right? Funky Ben Askren. He was the champion at one. And I believe he was 18-0 and 0 at the time. Um, went over to the UFC. Got kneed in the head by Jorge Masvidal. And uh, he was cut. Since then, the man had hip surgery. He's been sitting around on the couch. He's been doing nothing. The perfect fight for Jake Paul. I mean, Ben Askren, 40 years old. I think he had both hips replaced. I mean, anybody that's familiar with having a hip replaced, please leave a comment in the comment section. And, um, let me know how debilitating that is. Like, can you jump in there with 
a 24 year old who does nothing except train boxing, has nothing else to do all day long except train boxing. All right? They mix it up. Jake Paul gets him out of there. Again, a credible opponent, but still more record padding. All right? So, everybody's asking the question, is Jake Paul for real? The answer is, we don't know. We don't know yet. He's still in the record padding phase. Um, When will he get a credible opponent? We don't know. I will say this thriller app is the home it's gonna be the home for boxers in the future. A lot of boxers are getting paid money that they wouldn't have seen otherwise. Ben Askren, five hundred grand. He never made that in the UFC. Never. Comes over the thriller. Fight some YouTube guy, half a mil in his pocket for two minutes of work and getting punched in the face. All right? Sure that Tyron Woodley's throwing his hat in the ring. He says he'll do it. Uh, I think Tyron's too good. He probably won't get the fight just yet. He's a little too good for Jake Paul in the record padding phase. All right? So, guys. Is Jake Paul for real? Too soon to say. Does he have potential? Yeah. Anybody that works hard at something is absolutely going to have potential. Um, That's it. Just got to give Jake Paul time. He's 24. Plenty of time. Plenty of fights to have. And he's making a lot of money for somebody this early in their boxing career. All right, guys. If I missed anything, leave it in the comments. Dave. Peace out.